Hello and welcome to my channel Book Hangover. My name is Marta and I like reading, I like books and I like sharing my passion to them and my opinion about some of the books that I read. Uh, last time I mentioned that uh, I wanted to read more of Ukrainian literature as Ukraine is my native country and yes, I feel more need to read uh, Ukrainian literature right now. Um, actually, in September, I decided that I wanted to read at least one Ukrainian book uh, in a month and I wanted to make a video where I'm explaining uh, how I pick uh, my books <laughs> for each month but yes, uh, circumstances have changed a little bit so now I'm just uh, reading a lot of it and I want to say a few words about uh, one of the greatest Ukrainian writers who is Ivan Franko by this time I have read three books the first one I mentioned in yearly wrap-up video, it is the book called Zahar Berkut. This is a story about a man who is uh, main chief of the village and his village is uh, in threat of getting attacked by uh, enemies and he uh, has an idea how to defeat them, how they, just simple villagers, can defeat uh, those enemies. But there is a little trick that his son would also um, die in this uh, in this fight, and he has a big choice: either he saves his son and then takes a risk of the whole village being massacred, or he defeats the enemy but uh, sacrifices his son. This is a great example of nobility, of wisdom, of greatness of this man. There is also a love line uh, in this plot. His son has a love interest in a daughter of the, the traitor who betrayed them and that's why they're in risk of the attack. So this, this book is definitely worth reading and there is also English translation. I will put in the description the name of the translator or maybe even a link. I think I saw it in some library, so it is possible to rent it and to read. Definitely worth it. The next book I read was a Stolen Happiness. Uh, it's a shorter story, it's not the full novel. Uh, and this is a story about a love triangle. So this, uh, this main character, she was forced and tricked into marrying a man who is much older than she is because she thought that her uh, beloved man has uh, died, that he uh, was killed and she lived with him for many years but once her beloved young man returns and they got into love triangle so this is the story about loyalty and about love and about sacrifice what is interesting is the reaction of her husband on their meeting and their affair uh, and how the author kind of doesn't judge this uh, infidelity. He just describes the event. It seems great because then you have a chance to decide for yourself. Uh, are you rooting for the marriage or are you rooting for love? And the ending is quite unexpected. I thought it will be a different ending, so it is definitely worth reading. The last but not the least, we have The Crossed Paths. This is a story about a lawyer who is trying to help people to get back their freedom on their land. But at the same time, he also meets a lost love of his life, who is married to the worst man in the whole world and he tries, this worst man in the whole world, he tries to trick them into marriage infidelity and into cheating. This main character, he shows uh, how noble he is, that he doesn't fall for these tricks. On the other hand, he doesn't support this woman. So there are a lot of uh, interesting things going on in their relationship, how sometimes um, complicated relationship can be. Additionally, there is a man I rooted for because he showed how wise he is and I really wanted him to succeed but I won't spoil anything about how the story ends. Uh, the only thing I can say that at least for this main character I like the ending because 
I really hoped that everything will be good for him. Uh, Ivan Franco is so great. He has so many sides of him. It is obvious why he is one of the greatest writers and poets of Ukrainian literature, and he is definitely worth reading. One of the greatest reasons, especially for those who speak Ukrainian, he is considered to be one of the creators of the modern Ukrainian language. It is interesting to read his books and see some of the words which are not used anymore, but were used back then, and to see how the language was created at that time. So if you speak Ukrainian, you definitely should read him. If not, translation is also great. I will uh, put in the description everything I can find so that you could also uh, have a look and um, get to know uh, his writing. Thank you for staying till the end of this video and I wish you a great day wherever you are and I wish my country, Ukraine, a victory in the war as soon as possible. Bye-bye.